Hello everyone, welcome to this video in which we explore the 5G versus Wi-Fi debate. Unfortunately, there are many misleading discussions and articles on this topic, therefore we felt a short video for clarification was in order. Will Wi-Fi become irrelevant? Various articles purport that 5G will kill Wi-Fi or make it irrelevant. For example, this article from Bloomberg tells us that because of unlimited data plans, a world without Wi-Fi looks possible. What this article really says is, due to the use of unlimited data plans in the US, people are no longer waiting for public Wi-Fi before switching on videos on their smartphones. This may be true to an extent, but then the article also talks about people stopping to use their home broadband. This brings us to our second point. In some cases, articles assert that 5G will replace fixed broadband in your home. This article in Forbes talks about the ultimate goal of deploying 5G is to replace all of the networks we currently use to stay connected to the internet, not just the mobile networks, but also hardwired networks and Wi-Fi. Well, let's just say that anyone making such statements, whether a vendor, operator, analyst or journalist, simply does not understand 5G or technology in general and must be avoided. Some articles complain that the speeds of mobile networks are increasing while Wi-Fi is falling behind. For instance, this article from the Register talks about how OpenSignal has found that mobile networks already outpace a customer's Wi-Fi connection on average in 33 countries. These range from Australia, where cellular is 13 megabits per second faster than Wi-Fi, to France, where it's 2.5 megabits per second faster. Finally, we have articles about how companies that are fed up of slow Wi-Fi will be replacing it with 5G. This article from MIT Technology Review is written in a clickbait style because if you just read the title, you will think this is happening presently, whereas the article is actually discussing how automakers, oil companies and shipping ports plan to build private 5G networks for faster, more reliable connectivity in the future. So let's get down to basics and see what kinds of Wi-Fi we use. There are many different types of Wi-Fi. Home Wi-Fi. We use this to connect our computers, laptops, tablets, smartphones, and other Wi-Fi enabled devices in our houses. Enterprise or office Wi-Fi. Companies small and big need Wi-Fi to connect their computers, tablets, smartphones, and other devices that connect Wi-Fi out of the box. Free unmanaged public Wi-Fi. There are free Wi-Fi hotspots available in coffee shops, malls, restaurants, etc. to lure customers to visit and spend more time there. Thinking behind this is that it will translate into business. Manage public Wi-Fi. These are the Wi-Fi hotspots by ISPs and MNOs that are better quality than the free hotspots but need subscription. Let's start with home Wi-Fi. Most people have Wi-Fi in their houses that are backhauled on fiber, cable, ADSL, fixed wireless access, etc. In addition to computers, tablets, smartphones, etc., many other devices, including game consoles, smart TVs, fridges, etc., have Wi-Fi built in. In fact, sometimes we wonder whether your microwave or coffee machine really needs Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi chipsets are very cheap, so the incremental cost of connectivity is low. The same cannot be said about 5G. Adding 5G chipset in most of these devices will increase the manufacturing costs significantly, would need subscription, leading to increase in running costs and provide no additional benefit. Home Wi-Fi will continue to exist like today in the foreseeable future. In addition, we should mention that there are many new cases of Wi-Fi in home like printing, using Wi-Fi direct, casting of video music to TV on your Wi-Fi network, and more and more devices like smart cameras, doorbells, security systems, etc that are coming with Wi-Fi connectivity. There is no way these will all go to 5G. Now, let's move on to enterprise or office Wi-Fi. Offices large or small have highly secure Wi-Fi to serve the needs of people who work there, as well as the visitors. While it may be possible to move people to using 5G, the subscription costs will be a massive overhead. In addition, there are printers, projectors, whiteboards, and many other devices that are all connected over Wi-Fi. They cannot be moved to 5G unless a massive effort is applied. Most enterprises are not capable of undertaking this. 
we do not foresee a move from Wi-Fi to 5G in enterprises. Many factories rely on Wi-Fi for crit critical connectivity tasks. The problem with unlicensed bands is that they can easily get interference from other sources. The quality of service with Wi-Fi is not good enough for some use cases, but this can often be attributed to point one. Workers in the factory may create Wi-Fi hotspots leading to interference on the floor. Many factories in the car industry, for example, use wired networks to overcome the above issues, but this results in loss of flexibility that can be achieved with wireless. Other industries where moving parts rely on Wi-Fi do not benefit from wired connectivity. Private 5G networks may work in these scenarios, but there are other alternatives that can be cheaper to run. Let's look at a case study of the Ocado warehouse automation. Online grocery re retailer Ocado uses a thousand robots working across a 150 meter radius in their warehouse in the UK. To solve Wi-Fi limitations of how many of them can be connected to an access point, lack of predictability with roaming and guaranteed latency, they worked with Cambridge consultants to design LTE network in 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band. The same approach can be used when 5G networks are available in unlicensed bands or in licensed bands with operators supporting it. More details can be found on the Cambridge Consultants website. In case of free unmanaged public Wi-Fi, you often have a case that a shop, store, restaurant, coffee shop or some organisation deploys free Wi-Fi, which is available for users with or without login. This generally requires very little maintenance and is more of a best effort basis service. Due to large data allowances in many prepaid or postpaid packages, the number of users relying on free Wi-Fi is reducing. The other issue with this type of free Wi-Fi is often there is poor or no security, so the users can get hacked or have malware installed on their devices without their knowledge. But there are still many cases where this type of free public Wi-Fi comes in handy. Think of hotels where you may not have coverage in your room or underground tunnels, stations, basements, or if you want to use additional devices where your operator may not allow tethering. This generally happens in ro roaming scenarios, etc. So this kind of public Wi-Fi can be beneficial in many scenarios. We do not foresee that free public Wi-Fi spots, hotspots will disappear anytime soon. They will likely be less loaded, thereby providing higher quality connection to users that still use them. In case of operator or service provider managed Wi-Fi, the reason they provide free Wi-Fi is mainly to offload traffic in dense urban areas or in building areas where connectivity is poor. Having free Wi-Fi hotspots in many useful locations can also lure in new, new users. Some service providers use free Wi-Fi for their customers as a differentiator and will continue to do so. A good example of this is Virgin Media in the UK that provides free Wi-Fi to their customers in the London Underground. New advancements like Hot Hotspot 2.0 or Passpoint, where there is no longer a need to log in credentials all the time. Hence the transition from cellular to Wi-Fi is a seamless experience. We expect the same trend to continue when 5G is launched as Wi-Fi spectrum doesn't cost much to the operators and reduces the number of base stations they need to, to deploy for capacity purposes. So in summary of the question, will 5G make Wi-Fi irrelevant? Wi-Fi in the home will continue to exist like today. Wi-Fi in offices and enterprises will continue to exist like today. Some factories and warehouses that rely on critical factors like quality of service and latency may choose to replace Wi-Fi networks with private 5G networks. Free unmanaged public Wi-Fi may be shunned by many users, but will continue to exist and will continue to be used by others. Operators ISP managed Wi-Fi will also continue to exist for a variety of use cases. In short, 5G will not make Wi-Fi irrelevant for the foreseeable future. We hope you liked this short video on the relevance of Wi-Fi post 5G. As always, comments and suggestions are very welcome. Please feel free to post them in the comments below. Thank you.